On this episode of Running Rust, we... We unbox a whole lot of parts for the gasser front end. Next, we're gonna assemble the straight axle front suspension kit. Watch how it turns out. emotional distress that this thing caused us breaking down on the main road uh, we're gonna take it a little little easier and we're gonna do good old unboxing of our whole front end i think the best place to do the unboxing would be on the car that's donating its life all right i like that i like that why don't we who's got a knife it's search first box this is what fifteen hundred dollars for the gasser parts looks like. Yes. Well, not just that. But oh, more boxes. More boxes. Oh, good. Like Kinley for the oh, fire. Wow. Saying oh, yeah. these are the leaf springs. Uh, the front of the car is going to sit on these, so that way we have the front end jacked up a little higher, and we're going to set the engine bay in a little bit further. Here you go. Thanks. Box number two. So, if you're going to build a car that you want to go over hundred miles an hour, you got to be able to stop a car that goes over hundred miles an Only hour. Only hundred miles an hour? Over a hundred. Oh, okay. Probably our goal is going to be about 130. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh man. That is heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's a big dog. So this is the, uh, the front axle. And uh, I know the entire weight of the car, like front end of it, is supported by the I'm not gonna unbox these because all you need to know is that an inch and a half uh, 120 wall steel tubing that we're essentially gonna use in the fender well area to make it so that the front end is more rigid it'll be bent um, to since we cut out the shock tower and stuff we need a little extra support in there all right let's see what we got in this one I am just learning about cars and stuff so this is a big learning experience for me since we're upgrading this to disc brake, you obviously need new rotors. Um, so here they are, and they're flipping around, show them. Yep. So we're converting the car to five lug, and it's gonna be uh, five by 4.5. That way we can use a better rim that'll match the back of the Mustang. Look at that shine, too. You know, really think about all this. This is a lot of, this is a lot of pieces and parts. It wasn't, it doesn't seem crazy. Well, really? Our total investment right now, minus the car that we that we bought originally, is thirteen hundred or fifteen hundred for what we bought so far. Well, we got twelve hundred in this and fifteen hundred in parts. So right now we're at twenty seven hundred dollars. That's really cheap. And we have two cars, and one of them even runs. This, I believe, is our last box. Yeah. Um. Oh well, man. Oh man. This you goes right. Right, you yeah, this this goes right through my head. This looks like. So essentially, these are going to bolt onto uh, the back of the, um, what is that called? Spindle. These are going to bolt onto the spindle. And essentially, then the steering will be able to hop on and stuff. So this is just a necessary link to connect the spindle to the brakes and to the steering. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this right here, this ear that sits out, is what holds the brake cow. So remember that last part I just showed you um, that I said bolted onto the spindle? Right here is the spindle. And then the brakes and stuff fit onto this. Oh, hey, oh. Cool color. Right here, that other part bolts onto here. It's cool color. And, you know, this makes it so it can turn all that. The brakes sit on here. Those bearings will go on here. But here's the spindle. Put that back in the box. <laughs> Before we lose it. <laughs> he said, look at the color scheme on it. <laughs> I like the colors too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we're good on parts. That's it. Get out of our garage. Today's additional victim is Jacob. Uh, he's here to help us hopefully get the front suspension on this car. So he gets to suffer. Yeah. It didn't come with instructions either, so that's a thing. Yeah. It's the first day we're actually building something instead of destroying. 
So it, that is something very uh, exciting. This is the bag of hardware they gave. So uh, <laughs> it's just gonna be a little bit of uh, you know figuring some things out, doing some YouTube tutorials, and uh, Chris fix here. Just trying <laughs> things out, you know, just getting frisky. It's gonna be good. That's gonna be a great so, time. Tune in to see. Yeah, brings bolt to this. Yeah. So that goes like that, and then these sit on it like that. Okay. And then you have these U bolts that bolt this to this. Okay. So we might as well we can go ahead and bolt these together now. Yeah. Jacob, you want to do that on that side? Uh, yeah. That might be. Is that both sets? All right, Connor, you can do that to this side. I will keep reading instructions. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. You want to see it? So we're gonna have to. It's adorable. It is absolutely adorable. He's got a nice sack. So for uh, welding these on, Josh, I assume we have to get it under the car to measure it out. Yeah, we'll want to make sure that everything's straight and level. You said oh. welding something to the car. Oh. No, we're yeah. gonna weld <laughs> this. We are to, to this. this. Man, we're doing a lot of welding today, actually. I can With this, it. since I know this welder the best, I'll lay the, lay, lay the tacks down. And then we're both gonna do one line weld, one line. and then we'll have judges decide who welds the rest. I like that. I like that. All right, well, I want to do one. It, it's, no. pretty, it's pretty. It's <laughs> pretty. No, it's just pretty, flat out so for no. This, for this welder, though, so this is also it's not your normal is, welder. Yeah, it's not your normal welder. So this is actually kind you of. You can't uh, set amperages. You can't. Nope. You turn that bitch speed. all the way up, it's, and no, it's, it's hot. It's, <laughs> it's called no, hot. It's A, B, C, or D. Those yeah. are your heats. Yep. And all you can do is manipulate wire speed, and yeah. it's not a gas <laughs> welder. It's a it's flux, a flux core. core. Yep, flux core. So it's core. totally different it's got a from. Flux capacitor. So. It's got a flux oh, yeah. capacitor. I agree with that. Name one thing that you agree with more. We're Harbor Freight heroes, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah. As you can see, we've gotten pretty far with minimal directions. Basically now we got to the point where you either need a press or you need heat. So <laughs> we're gonna go in his house. We're gonna use the oven to heat these up. It says 400 degrees for 20 minutes and you'll be able to slip them right on because it don't do nothing right now. Mm. So yeah, they're against why the did they make it that sort of needed forge. adapters yeah. instead of just having it go like straight on? We may never know, yeah. but we got them. Fresh dick. dick. Yep, yep. Fresh dick. <laughs> wow! Did dick? He did. Oh, he likes penis. <laughs> I can install the inner bearings with fresh disc brake grease. Oh, next, so on the spindles, we're gonna put the bearings on. And, but before we do the bearings, we had to pack the bearings full of grease. So he's grabbing some bags so that way I can use my hand to pack the bearings. Then we'll slip them on there. Good thing I brought grease. Yeah. This might be it. It's worth thinking. <laughs> Have like teeth on the, the actual. Well, I'm just I'm like looking at the whole entire thing, and I mean, got all those parts together. What it, does it say? Well, it, oh, never mind. That's tie rods. It's a little bag. Yeah. You got any ones so that are one bigger? Why do you want bigger ones? Banjo I, I gotta put those my. Those are snack baggies. You don't have the bigger ones? All right. So now what we're doing is getting ready to put the bearings in. Josh is packing the bearings of grease. Basically, you have to you scoop it in. You want to make sure that it's coated everywhere possible. You got to load the inner wheel with it. Here, wait. Someone hold this because it's sliding. Hold the shaft for him. There. Where is that? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Lather like, it. Like Ooh. butter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna throw a little more grease on the outside of it. Okay. So that's the actual bearing now? Mm-hmm. Now it spins. Where's the where's the rag at? Here, wait. Do something fun. <laughs> You're on camera, come on. I know, come on. What are we paying you for? Oh, we're not paying you anyhow. 
Dog treats. Dog yeah. treats. It's a lot of pretzels. Peanut butter milk, pretzels. Milk bone. Benny, you want a pretzel? <gasps> you want a pretzel? Yeah. 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 And then somebody followed behind me to do... You need to get the nut on there. Oh, Where's that at? Can't get this on. Yeah. You're going to put on the outer spacer. Bye. Oh, pull it off. You need the spacer. Not... Ooh. Outer spacer. No. Oh, here, you, I got to pull that out. You said something about a spacer? Outer yeah. spacer before the washer. What, is it? Oh. What, what does it look so like? So probably the 11. spacer right here that I was talking about. This guy. Oh, so this goes on really far, Hunter. Remember? I have no idea. Let's go. Let's try it again. Take so, yeah, is that open? Yeah. There's uh, Is there a cotter pin in there, too? There yeah, there is. Yep. So this goes so on, and then this, on your yeah, washer. this has got to go then, in further. Yeah. Then the yeah, then the put I don't cap know on. how you want me to get it further. That's fine. Unless, unless you want to try and push that Yeah, because look, I can't even get to the threads. I, I, I oh, I, there's a gap about a quarter inch. It was not seen oh. all the way. Wait, well, now it, it's, I we think gotta, this has to move in then because it's pressed well, against well, it. Well, that that's only this just, just on the this way yeah, on its own. Yeah. yeah. So, so this needs to. The bearing only goes so far anyway. Oh fuck! It's not something right. Because I have a ton of resistance. Like, well, like I can't spin it at all. So something is not happy. Unless. That's, Plus those can actually go on further. That's why I was saying. And watch this. Like I, I. You also make, have to make sure too that the cotter pin hole is going to line up. Yeah. So does that still spin freely? No. There you go. That's your so right you, you want the this thing going down, or does it go up? Mm. Well, I guess it'll probably only fit one way, right? It's, yeah, it would only fit one way. No, yeah. that's, sure. that's the way, Josh, right there. Is that the, is that the back pad for the right side, though? I, they have the clip on opposite sides. So I just want to make sure that that's right before you start. Mm. Oh, I don't know. We mixed them all up. So. Well, I'm saying the front the front pads are the same, or the the front side pads are the same, but those I guess we go don't on the back. we don't know because we mixed them up. All right, so we are getting ready to do the calipers and realize that there is not nearly enough room to put the brake pads on. So when yeah. we were installing this, we had a spacer that we had trouble I'm just fitting on, and we're thinking that that is the reason why there's not enough clearance. So we're going and taking everything apart. Trying to fit the spacer on, and uh, we're hoping that that will give us enough clearance to actually put both brake pads so we can actually stop. Here's the issue, is if we try to tighten it in with this nut, if we strip the nut or strip the spindle, we have to buy a new spindle. Oh, Jesus. I don't think so. So after beating our heads against this table for a minute, trying to figure out why um, we can't get all the pieces assembled on the rotor, installed on the rotor, we took it all apart and we realized that there was a bearing cap that was already installed inside of our ro rotor, and it had us and the directions put another one on. So we doubled up by accident, and it just we tried hitting it with a hammer and everything wasn't going. But finally figured it out, and it goes on, and it, you can actually assemble it in like two minutes. <laughs> wow, it look took at us that. like so it, three hours. We got all the way to trying to put the brake calipers and brake pads on, and that's when we found out. So we got to start all the way from the beginning again. Yeah. Well, not quite the beginning, but quite a bit. Yeah. Watch this, watch this, guys. See how fast we can do this now.
don't even remember what day it is today. That's true. It's your birthday. No, it's not. You wish. Ricky, your parents have just been lying to you. They could be. Today's your birthday. Have you ever seen You're a twin, your... right? What? What? I thought you were a twin. No, no, no. My, my little brother's just bigger than me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off. <laughs> All right, pop that thing tap, out. Tap, All right, they're all. Everything's gonna be slightly less grease than it was originally. That's okay. We've still got excess. This is the part that was causing our dilemma and bane of our existence. They tell you to install both bearing caps, but that is not actually There's true. the problem. They right already there. had one in there. There you go. They Ooh. like to play jokes. They think they're funny. So we're uh, we're disassembling this for the third time now, because uh, Josh made the realization that well these are left and right calipers. So if you look right here, that's big R. L. That's a R. We we had that R over on the L. That's so not gonna work out. Take, so we gotta we take it apart out. for the third time. There you go. So good this time. <laughs> There you go, uh, Hunter. You can get a workout with that thing. Ground. Oh, we're, we're just over here doing some farmer carries. You know, working on our traps, forearms, getting a good workout. Oh, yeah. Success. And between that and that, that's Whoa. what made the car go. Success. Look how nice this yeah, is. Yeah, there it is. Look at that shit. Look at that. With well, the marriage, though, look at these two are going to make a lot of. Right, so, after going through and rebuilding this three times, we came to the realization that we did it wrong again. So, we got to go through, take this apart completely for the fourth time because the steering arm right here get a look we had that put on the top side of the brakes and the issue with that is it runs into the leaf springs right here so you can't actually run the rest of the steering assembly so we had to take it all apart put it on the right spot so that the rest of the steering can run underneath these leaf springs